guys welcome back so today i am replacing a few things that are broken on the z4 uh the third brake light if you guys watched my first track day video with this car you might notice my driver's side brand new mirror that i just put on blew off going right down the front straight at button wall just flew off um so that's missing so i need to replace that so since the Z4 doesn't really have anything in the hatch, um, as far as here goes, it's actually super simple. There's three holes and you just unbolt the brake light. But I'll show you what's up with mine. So if you see here, the corner of it is chipped. Not really sure when that happened. I don't remember seeing that when I bought it. But originally it was cracked, but I guess after the last track day, it chipped all the way. So. Yeah, we will go ahead and take care of that. I've been up for three nights. My eyes are bloodshot red. Damn, I want to see the sunshine. It's getting to my head. One look in the mirror, don't like what I find. I know that somewhere in there, there's a good now we're good okay fun stuff i love it when i have to break stuff it's really oh you're great um, claire like i mentioned not broken so hopefully this won't get stuck and it actually has a good gasket so yeah let's see how we can get this wiring through here I'm sorry that I stole your car. Okay, yep, there we go. Let me do look at that. Okay, now this is all lined up. We gotta pull this off because I've made that mistake before and then not been able to get the whole thing off. Not fun. Not fun. Don't do that. Don't, don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. Okay, would you look at that? That looks freaking good. That looks so good. <laughs> okay, I like it. it looks good. Mm -hmm. It's a yes for me. I like it. I like it. I like the clear more than I anticipated. Okay, so here's our new mirror. Hello. And it's pretty simple. You just literally got to push it in. I mean, you put those little pins in, but then that's it. Sorry, I needed two hands to do it. But literally, you just line those little clips up and you just press. Super simple. Okay, so it's getting a little wild. Um, <laughs> I was actually looking for a hardtop on the forums for the Z4. And they are so expensive. Like, three grand on average. And I was like, mmm justify that right now I don't know that I can justify that right now so anyways I was scrolling through more listings trying to see if I could find anything else and I came across the wheels that I originally wanted for the Z4 I really wanted Apex Arc 8s or Arc 8 R's for this car because they're like literally one of my favorite wheels and they're super lightweight super strong I know a lot of people that run them they're super popular in the BMW world you guys know they actually make a set for the R53 if they made them for the F56 I would definitely have a set but I was like I finally have a car that I can get our gates for and I want them but I couldn't justify buying them brand new for the fact that I'm really hard on my wheels so I decided to send it and get the M front bumper so that we can add the brake ducting and we can add a splitter and it's gonna be no big deal. So I'm on my way to pick up my dream wheels for this car as well as pick up a Z4 M bumper. So I'm freaking stoked. I can't wait. So we're driving out to LA guys, let's go. So I just picked up the wheels. The guy was super, super nice and the bumper and I'm so excited they look so cute the literally barely used bumper is like excellent condition the wheels are in good 
good condition, so I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. Okay. Well, I'll catch up with you guys once I get back to the house. We'll unload everything and install this bumper. So, yeah. So we got the Z4M bumper, but because of all the issues that I'm having with the plastic bumper brackets and the tracking and whatnot, they have literally pulled off multiple times. Now I've gone through multiple set of the stock plastic brackets. I decided to go with a quick release bumper um, for the fact that this is just going to make my life more simple. This is a track car, so <sighs> about to drill through the Z4M bumper. So we're doing the thing. We're about to drill through it right now. It's gonna be a painful moment. So let's just do it and get it over with like ripping off a band-aid. <laughs> okay, one thing I did forget to mention about the bumper is that the guy actually gave me the brake ducts with the bumper, which was super awesome. So now I don't have to make any. They will just fit right in to the stock setup. So yeah, now we have brake ducting. I were the same Making bad decisions It should be my middle name I love playing with fire It's my favorite uh, Watch it by my whole house Down I feel a thing One look in the mirror Don't like what I find. Okay So I thought I would show you guys The finished product Of the quick release Bumper setup So I do have the bigger Quick releases Simply because This bumper weighs so much and I really can't have it breaking on me we're going pretty fast in this car and yeah just don't want to risk it so let me show you the final look so it pretty much fits in perfectly I think because of the circle with the circle reflector they're roughly the same size matches the rear bumper as well which also has a red circle reflector so I think it flows super smooth it does not look bad at all but functionality is number one so super happy we knocked majority of the things out that need to be replaced on this car and some fixings and I'm super excited to get tires on those wheels I will definitely show you more in another video where we can go over the whole thing show you them on the car show you them with new tires on etc but I'm super happy that we got that brake light fixed because that looked terrible and then got a new mirror in so let's hope this one lasts and yeah now fixing the bumper which was a huge deal it literally broke I think this is like the third time now so I bought the car with it broken replaced those clips broke them again tried to fix it again and nothing so I think that this is really going to be the best option for me and how I use this car and loading and unloading it on the trailer and now we have a little bit more arrow just naturally and now we have brake ducting so I think it was a win-win situation so yeah I'm super stoked thank you guys so much for watching keep an eye out lots more content on the Z4 this has really been my focus lately so yeah peace out guys I will catch you in the next one